Hi everyone. I'm gonna put in a few kilometers today. I've got about six kilometers to go before I get to my area. What's that? About four miles. It should take me just over an hour, given the terrain's not too rough. I'm not looking for much on the way there, but if something catches my eye, I'll let you know. Otherwise, let me get there. We can start fossil hunting. I'm about halfway there. It's actually quite warm for New Zealand. It's probably 27, 28 degrees Celsius. I found my first fossil. A bit of Torito wood. So that's what's left over of a bit of wood that's been eaten by some shipworm and it's turned into a fossil. It's pretty cool, you can see over there it's actually been filled in with some kind of crystal, I'm going to guess calcite. So that's what seems to be filling up the marine fossils in this area, so that's a good sign. It means there's fossils around, but I'm not going to spend time here, I'm going to keep on going. So I'll leave this here, might pick it up on the way back if I don't find anything. It's just about 20 meters from that piece of Torito wood and this is a piece of whale bone I suspect and over there it's starting to look nice and dense so maybe there's some skull elements in here it's a shame it's so big oh. <laughs> yeah that's a solid piece <laughs> um, I don't see anything immediately taking back but yeah that's a nice piece of bone like I say it's all just clues to the area to what's around so the Torito wood is a good sign because obviously wood would be from land which means there could be penguins or birds in the same area if you think the, the wood couldn't have drifted hundreds of kilometers from land so that's a good sign that whale bones a good sign it means that the area was producing fossils it's not all areas do. Yeah, it's just, it's just adding up to the picture of the area. Always makes me feel a little bit excited <laughs> getting to these places, these new places. And if you look here, I'm actually walking across some siltstone. So this is the old seafloor over there from a few million years ago. So I'm also keeping an eye on it in case there's actually some in situ fossils. Maybe just a nice leg tooth sticking out. <laughs> That'd be great. Yeah, this is a nice little area. There's concretions, bones, siltstone, tide coming in. <laughs> some more fossilized bone <laughs> a very large piece as well right over there sticking out of this monster rock <laughs> got a feeling like I saw this about two years ago yeah there's a one part of it and I think I saw ear bones in it actually there's some more over there That's going all the way through. It's a really nice bone there. Not sure if this is the one way I saw the, the ear bones in. But that almost looks like part of the jaw. What would be cool is if it was a, a toothed whale, like a sperm whale. Just take a, a close look. See if I see any bits of uh, tooth sticking out. I'm seeing shells. I'm not.
not seeing big sperm whale teeth. And those things are big. Uh, so maybe a baleen whale. They do seem to be the most common around here. Yeah? That's a big piece though. Really big piece. I'm gonna guess there's more than the ones around it. I'm blown away. I've just found the biggest whalebone cluster I've ever found. <laughs> Have a look here. Have a look at these ribs. Can you see them all in a row there? That's about a meter and a half. And then it just keeps going. I'm standing on it. Look at those ribs. This thing is huge. This is such a big fossil. <laughs> oh, that must be a couple of tons. It's huge. <laughs> I have never seen ribs all in a row like that. You can just see how all the bones are still articulated. Look how that, that one's connecting up into that one. <laughs> this is a monster. I don't think I see any skull in it. But man, this is such a good fossil. <laughs> There's probably not much diagnostic in it, unless the skull's in the middle there, but I mean, surely the rest of it's not too far from here. <laughs> so big. Didn't find the rest of the whale. Did find this cool shell though. Really nice bivalve sitting inside that shell there. Really cool. Looks like there's a few more in that rock. Yeah, I'm still not where I want to be, so <laughs> let's carry on. I keep getting distracted by big whale bones. I mean, you have to stop and check them out. I'm into seal territory now, so I'm making a lot of noise as I'm walking. Don't want to spook one of them. So many nooks and crannies that they like to sleep in. I did see a piece of bone around here somewhere. There it is. Well, that's a bit stuck in there. It's a really nice looking bone as well. Oh. Just need to put the camera down quickly. Oh wait, maybe not. That's a nice piece of bone. Nice and dense. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't see too much identifiable in there. It's good finding something. Gonna hide it up here. really shiny but I don't think it's ear bone. But in case it is, I'm just gonna hide it up top here. So hopefully I can find it again. Finally made it. I'm where I want to be. Oh, that was a long hike. <laughs> just gonna have a look in amongst these rocks. Have a look at this cool is it a sea anemone? That thing over there. 
it's either a sea snail or an enemy. Quite cool looking. I found about two or three more bits of whalebone on the way through. I didn't really stop and look at them too closely. Just because I don't have an awful lot of time yet before the tide comes through. So, this is the little beach where I'm going to spend my time with all these rocks here. Just carefully look through it. Then next time I come this way, I'll do the next bay and so on. Just be really systematic about it. It's always to stay clear of the cliffs. <laughs> Don't want them to come down. There's a nice piece of jasper. There are concretions here, so hopefully there's something in these concretions because sometimes you do find areas that are just empty. Don't know why. that much over here. <laughs> I've kind of done a zigzag pattern through here and didn't find anything so I'm gonna head back to where I found that big piece of whalebone or that cluster. So I think that's probably my best bet for finding something. At least I can scratch this one off my list of places to check. <laughs> that's half the part of fossil hunting finding the places fossils aren't. <laughs> I mean, for all I knew, this could have been the Megtooth Bay. It turns out it's the empty concretion bay. <laughs> Here's some really well-preserved trace fossils. You can see over there, it's burrows from some kind of worm, I suppose, and it's going all the way through this rock and the burrows have actually fossilized. Not sure what they were. Were they worms? Were they shrimp? There was a whole colony of them there. <laughs> I haven't seen one this well preserved. That's really cool. We carry on back to the car through these dodgy little <laughs> seal areas. <laughs> It's making a lot of noise as I go. Normally the banging scares them away or at least tells them you're on your way so they don't get a surprise. <laughs> That's I think the only time they really bite is if they get surprised. I suppose if you step on them or if they're babies. <laughs> Pups? Is that what seal babies are called? Anyway let's go. Something I luckily don't see often is trash on the beach here. So a balloon. I don't know how far that's gone. Only kilometers from the nearest houses. I suppose they can go quite far. I'll take it back home. Still heading back to that big whalebone cluster. Look at that. <laughs> Something's really gone to town on that rock. Some more trace fossils. Must have been some massive worms a few million years ago. Almost got really excited about that piece there. It's um, a little piece of something carbon. Maybe wood. Thought it was a shark tooth, it had that shiny look to it. It's paid off somewhat going back to that first spot. See, here's another piece of whalebone. 
well, I assume it's whalebone. Could be a cetacean or a seal. He's sticking out over here. Smaller bone over there. There's not much else I can see, but there's definitely bones inside here. Yeah, I'm just going to go through here quite slowly. It's just about sunset. Sun's about to go behind the, the hill there. And I finally found a crab. It's a pyrotized one, so I don't know if you can see it glinting over there in this little bit of sun. Yeah, so that's turned into a bit of fool's gold there. Makes it really hard to prep. Yeah, that's a crab. I'm happy with that. <laughs> First crab of the day. There goes the sun. Not too far to go now. I should get back to the car just after dark. If I don't get distracted too much. <laughs> Made it back to the car. <laughs> it's quite dark outside. So I'm gonna get going. I need some dinner. It's like what? 9.30 at night. Haven't eaten yet. It was such a great day. I really enjoyed that hunt. It's so good to get some proper kilometers done. I'll do a wrap up at home. Here are today's finds and actually not bad for a, a long hike to a new area if only I could carry back those whale bones <laughs> that's why I need a, a private chopper here's that rock with a hole in it some people call them hag stones or fairy stones they're pretty cool it's one of the first I found and I'm gonna guess it's a it's some kind of crab in there it looks to be maybe a metacarcinous crab just by the shape. And this I think is potentially another crab. I did see something that looked like a leg sticking out over there. It's one of those ones that looks rusted and they're really difficult to prep. It's almost like the fossils disintegrated in the inside. I'm trying to remember why I brought this one back. Did I think that was a leg? Oh yeah, there we go. That definitely looks like a leg sticking out there. So I'm going to guess it's a part of a crab in here. Okay, it's time to see who's won this crab, this replica crab. 175 grams exactly. So what, uh, just over 5 ounces. 175. Double checked it. Let's go see who's the winner. A big thank you to everyone that entered uh, to win the fossil replica crab. Got so many entries and turns out we got two winners. So I'll make another one and send it off. Uh, the winners are no grade to low grade and Tori Anderson. Congratulations and well done on guessing. Uh, the right weight of 175 grams. <laughs> if you do want a crab of your own and you didn't win the giveaway, head over to my shop on my website. There's some merchandise there and also replica crabs if you, if you want to order one there. I had enough footage from today's hunt for another video which is on my Patreon page. So head over there for a look. And remember to hit the like button if you enjoyed today's video. Stay safe and I'll see you on the next hunt.